So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you five designs that you shouldn't be selling. These are some designs you do not want to get anywhere near because one, they'll most likely get taken down and two, they could potentially lead to your whole shop getting taken down. It's a very, very serious topic, but if you're ready for this video, make sure to click that like button. Hi guys, my name is Phil and welcome to the Money Game YouTube channel. For anyone that's new around here, I make print on demand content to both motivate and to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can improve your print on demand shops. Now, if this happens to be the first time that you are coming across my channel, you're definitely gonna wanna click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. I've got a lot of videos here, a lot of videos coming that will show you how to make some extra money online. And for those who don't already know, down in the description, I have a free print and demand starter guide that you can download. And that is all the information that I used to get some of my first few sales online through sites like Redbubble. And for those that are trying to take it a step further, I have a pay step-by-step -step guide that's also linked down below. And that will pretty much fast track you to print and demand success. Like I said, I'll be showing you designs that you should not be selling on Redbubble. Now, when it comes to Redbubble, recently I've been seeing a lot of people telling me that their accounts are getting shut down. I've been seeing it in the YouTube comments, even on the Facebook group as well. For those that aren't a part of the Facebook group, it is linked down in the description. It's completely free to join. There's about six and a half thousand of us over there now so if you're looking for other people to relate to to talk to definitely join that up but nevertheless i've been seeing people over there saying that they are getting their accounts taken down now some questions that i see are usually things along the lines of when my account is taken down will i still get paid well with redbubble for the most part they still do pay people but you don't want your account to get taken down in the first place and that is one of the main reasons i'm making this video just to give people some tips and tricks to make sure that they're safe some of the information you hear in this video for those that are subscribed you might have heard it before but i've been looking into the channel and i'm seeing that a lot of the people that watch these videos aren't subscribed and if this happens to be you please please just click the subscribe button and yes like i said i'll be going through five designs you should definitely not try to sell on redbubble but before i get into that for those that are wondering if the designs they're making are okay to use you can actually trademark check them by using a website called trademarkio.com this is the website right here once again spoke about it in other videos but i know people are new to the channel what this site allows you to do it allows you to make sure that the designs that you are creating are safe for websites like redbubble just as an example if i was to type in nike in there which we all know is a big brand you will see that it has registered trademarks on it this is just an example but if you are coming across things that are trending you can literally type them on here and you'll be able to see if they're registered for trademark or not so jumping straight into this the first style of designs you shouldn't be trying to sell are star wars designs now with star wars designs people can obviously sub niche but if you have the keywords star wars in your title star wars in your tags even if you don't use those keywords and redbubble can suss out that you have a star wars design for the most part this will eventually lead to either your designs getting taken down or your shop getting taken down so you want to be not even you want to be careful you just don't want to get anywhere near these niches for those people that have had their shops closed down any of the niches that I'm going through, try to reflect to see if you covered any of these niches because that might be the reason your shop may have been closed. And moving forward, if Redbubble does allow you to have another chance, which is very rare, these are the things that you want to be staying away from. I also put this on trademark here just to show you guys that there is a registered trademark on this. But when you go on trademark here, there's literally pages and pages of registered trademarks for Star Wars. So this is definitely something you guys do not want to get near. Next up, we have Harry Potter. A lot of people love Harry Potter. A lot of people like the books. They like to get memorabilia or t-shirts that have logos or sayings from Harry Potter. Now, Redbubble doesn't like people that put up these designs. They will once again either take the designs down or close down the shops completely. Harry Potter is another one that has a lot of registered trademarks. And for anyone who's either starting on Redbubble or anyone who's having any sort of success and has Harry Potter designs, you might think, oh, okay, they're selling, I'm gonna keep them there. Don't keep them there, just take them down 
be safe rather than sorry later on. The designs I'm covering in this video are literally all like ticking time bombs. If you leave them on your shop and for whatever reason, if Redbubble hasn't caught you as of yet, they will catch you eventually and this could jeopardize the money you could potentially make in the future. I don't know if you can see there, but on the results, it says only has 2,962 results for Harry Potter. Obviously, Harry Potter is really big. Now, if Harry Potter was allowed in Redbubble, there will probably be hundreds of thousands of results, if not over a million. But because it's not allowed, the results are so few. And these are people that have just happened to get away with it. Once again, you want to stay away from putting either in the title or in your tags, Harry Potter as a keyword, mainly because even if your design isn't related to Harry Potter, the Redbubble algorithm will pick up on those keywords. So you also want to make sure that you are not using them. Next up, we have Disney. Now I've put Disney here in the third spot, mainly because it kind of links to the past two that I mentioned, Star Wars and Harry Potter. I think now both fall under Disney. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comment sections. Nevertheless, Disney designs, I caught pretty fast by Redbubble. For some reason, they have not caught all of the Disney designs that pop up on Redbubble, which is a bit weird, but Disney designs are another one that get taken down and that could lead to your shop getting taken down. And with Disney, if you go on trademarkier.com, you see once again, there's pages and pages of trademarks on clothing, on different products, on so many different things. They have taken the route to make sure that they have trademarked any possible thing that they can think of. I'm pretty sure if you look hard enough, you probably find trademark on Disney tattoos. I mean, that, that's probably silly, but they're the kind of measures Disney have taken. So you want to be staying away from anything Disney or anything associated with Disney, because if they don't catch you now, they will catch you. And I just want you guys to stay safe because at the end of the day, you don't want to put all that work in to lose it all. Next stop, we've got ourselves among us. Now, a lot of people are probably not gonna like me for talking about this, because they're probably like, wow, man, I'm making money from Among Us. How could, how could it not be allowed to put up Among Us? I mean, I don't know who talks like that, but a lot of people will probably feel a certain type of way about me including this in this video. But once again, in all honesty, Among Us is trademarked, which means if Redbubble aren't acting on this now, eventually they will act on this. All these Among Us designs will start to be removed one by one. And even worse than that, the people that have these designs on their shops will most likely start to see their shops getting taken down so if you're someone who has a shop who has amongst designs even if you're getting sales on some of your designs just to keep yourself safe and to preserve your shop for the future you want to be unlisting and taking down these designs because think of it this way let's say you have a design that's linked to among us that's doing well you might have a hundred sales, for example, you might have made $200, but that $200 could be nothing compared to what you could make over two years. So do not risk short term satisfaction without considering the long term gains you could get from being safe. Make sure that you are staying away from among us. It might seem like an easy money grab now, but it would definitely affect you in the future. Now the final of the five is friends designs. Friend obviously is trademarked. If you put this on trademark here, you will come across once again, pages of different friends trademarks. So because it's trademarked, you definitely want to be staying away from this because this could lead to once again, like I've been saying, the design getting taken down and then potentially your shop getting taken down. I've been noticing a lot of people are using friend styled design styles. Now for the most part, you'll be okay as long as you're not using the words friends in your tag or in your main keywords. For example, with the image you can see on the screen now, you've got a quote that Joey says in Friends where he says, how you doing? And I mean, we all know that's a famous quote from Friends. This is something that could definitely get taken down. If someone at Redbubble does come across this, mainly because it's the quote from Friends and they're also using Friends in the tags. But the design that's next to that, that says 2020, the one with the pandemic, that one may be okay if you was to make sure that you're not using friends in the title or the tags, mainly because it's nothing in relation to friends. It's just the style that's used there. Nevertheless, that is it for this video. They're the main five things that I wanted to show you that you guys need to make sure that you're staying away from. Once again, trademarkier.com is the site that you should be using to double check, trademark check, and make sure that your shop is 
in check and that way you make sure that you're not having any designs taken down you're staying safe and you're preserving yourself for the future rather than the short term nevertheless if you've made it to this point in the video down in the comment section comment down stay safe why because i want all of you to stay safe because at the end of the day as a team we should be going forward backwards to finish off as i always say always remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success <laughs> <laughs>